<laughs> Who is it, bud? What? Come here, Goosey. It was already open a little bit. Hmm. What do we have? We have some watercolors. That's all. That's really terrible. So it was like taped? What? It's like Amazon didn't even try to close this bag. Okay. Oh, I'm super excited because I have been using the same watercolors for a couple years now. They're not bad. They're actually quite nice. That's why I've put up with not put up with, but used them for so long. The Windsor & Newton um, little palette. It's not really a little. It's a good size. It's, what, 5, 10, 12. It's about 24 colors. Uh, I've gotten some love. Uh, but I'm just like, I'm super bored with these colors. Like... I don't know. They're just really muted. They don't excite me much anymore. They're kind of... I don't know. Just kind of bored with them. So, I thought I would hop online and treat myself to something nice. These are Gold Class Mission watercolors. The finest quality pigments with superior light fastness. Color uniformity, exceptional solvency, non-toxic and non-chemical additives, cadmium-free cosmetic-grade preservatives. Those are the five highest standards of Mission Watercolor. So, let's check it out. do to not ruin the box with cutting. There we go. Sort of. Come on. Alright. Oh, oh. Oh, we got some, we got some stickers here. There we go. All right, all right. Are we ready for this? <gasps> Come on. trying so hard. It's trying so hard. Oh, there we go. <gasps> mm. <clears throat> uh. Wow. Look at all those colors. So... I believe the largest box of these, 126 colors, is around $200 on Amazon. I don't really have that kind of money right now, so I went with the 24 pack. It is around $45, a lot more affordable for me currently. Um, yeah, geez, look at all, look at all of these reds, man, like, that's some diversity there. I'm real happy with, uh, with what I'm seeing. So let's, uh, 
let's look at what we've got. Words. Got some words here. Um, just in case I don't live in the lovely United States of America. Or, yeah. <gasps> these are so fancy. Look at these little guys. Oh man, son. I'm so happy. Look at these. Mmm. Yeah, boy. All right. Let's start. Let's start. first thing I tried these watercolors out on was the this thing that I'm I was working on for Inktober I think this was day number three uh, and I bought this little book at an art supply store thinking it would be fabulous because it's like square shaped and I don't know I like squares or something and um, I was sorely disappointed with the quality of this paper. You can see that I'm like kind of tentative around uh, things that I've drawn on the paper because it didn't really matter how careful I was around the lines and coloring within the lines uh, or the amount of water I applied. It just didn't really matter. It was kind of the... the uh, water kind of, or the paper kind of held the water in an unpredictable sort of way. You can see like these weird lines here in the, or like little splotches in, in the areas where I'm painting. Like just, I don't know. These little splotches would just show up and completely ruin what I was working on. So I'd have to like scratch it off a little bit. So after the third drawing, I, yeah, here we go. Like, look at this. This is, I tried to scratch it off and just completely ruin this drawing. And you can see where it, like all around the edges, the water bled through. So I said, screw this and brought out my favorite watercolor Stonehenge or watercolor paper Stonehenge uh, cold press and decided I'd just cut like little squares uh, and do my Inktober prompts on these guys. Um, I like the idea of having a book for Inktober, but maybe, maybe I can just try something a little different here for once and just do loose drawings. Uh, so this night, after spending like two hours trying to figure out what I wanted to draw for this prompt freeze for day four, uh, I, uh, messed it up as you saw, and well, I didn't mess it up, it was the paper, okay? It wasn't my fault. So I redrew it on the Stonehenge watercolor paper, and um, it was like a breath of fresh air, finally, working with this paper again. It was just, you know, an old friend that you haven't seen in a while, and so we hung out, and um, it was a good time. I don't know, man. If, if, you're, if you're working with art supplies, and they aren't doing what you want them to do. If, if the tools fail you, I guess, feel free to 
leave them behind and try something different. I was really, I was really sad to give up this little book, but honestly, it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. It was $15, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll recover and, uh, and I think I'll be a lot happier just doing little loose, loose drawings for Inktober this year. That way I can like write the prompt on the back and stuff and not ruin the drawing with like, you know, the prompt for Inktober. Inktober is just part of it. What, what it really is, is training myself to draw each day or at least get in the habit of drawing and making something on a more regular basis.